Hi guys, Misty here. Welcome back to our channel. Um, I wanted to jump on here and show you what I have been eating most days um, during the week uh, for lunch. And it is a Greek chicken pita. I, I was thinking about something that I could put together really quick. Um, you know, when I come home for lunch, put it together, and then I'm out the door. And I'm not, you know, a lot of people do that where on Sundays they cook you know all the foods that they're going to eat during the week um, I try that that is just not for me um, I for some reason I have some mental block if if I eat food that's been in the refrigerator too long I don't know it just kind of grosses me out um, but I can usually do you know two days so what I'm going to show you guys today is basically two servings and so it's something really easy now if you if that's not a problem for you go ahead and make it for the whole week um usually what i would do um midweek is go ahead and make another batch of this so but the first thing you're going to want to do is take um, two chicken breasts and of course i'm just talking about two servings here and you're going to season it with i'm using cavender's greek seasoning that i purchased at walmart if you have another brand that you like of course just use that um, so I'm going to go ahead and stick that on my George Foreman grill. Um, I don't really have a George Foreman grill, but it's very similar to that. Um, and I love it. My mom gave it to me and I can stick two chicken breasts on that in eight minutes. It's done. But of course, you know, if you don't have one, you can bake it, you can pan fry it, however you cook your, you know, chicken. Um, then, you know, that's what you would want to do. So the next thing I want to do is go ahead, while my chicken is cooking, I'm assembling my veggies or my cucumber tomato salad. So the first thing I do is I take a half of an onion. Now, I really would have liked to have a red onion, but I didn't. So I just took a, a white onion or a sweet onion um, and I chopped that up. Um, also, you're going to want to take two cucumbers. Now, I prefer the small cucumbers. Some people call them Persian cucumbers. Um, I just think that it, they're a better flavor and texture, especially for a tomato cucumber salad. Um, so I take two of those and chop those up. In addition to that, I also take eight little grape tomatoes. You can use any kind of grape tomatoes. And I just cut those um, in half. And I'm looking down here at my notes because I was thinking, okay, what do I do next? Um, and then I take um, one ounce of feta cheese. And so um, now I'm showing you the feta cheese that I like. Um, I'm a little bit of a cheese snob, I guess. To me, I like a, a better flavor uh, feta cheese than that you can just buy like at Walmart. I have to actually get this at a specialty cheese store, the same specialty cheese store that I got my uh, blue cheese at in one of our videos that we talked about. Um, if you can, if, if not, use the feta cheese that you like. You know, of course, use, use what's at Walmart. Um, but I like a cheese that, a feta cheese that just has, it's not as pungent and it has a little bit of a um, tart flavor if that's the right word I, I really don't know but if you can find a better quality cheese um, just try it because you will taste a difference from the feta cheese that you can just uh, that's already crumbled up at Walmart um, of course you know if I didn't have you know my, my fancy cheese I would just use what's at Walmart so anyway um, and then just one ounce of that. And I actually had to weigh that because I didn't want to eyeball it. I kind of thought, let me just actually see what one ounce looks like. And I'm going to show you that. Um, and so, and it was a lot more than I, I thought um, after I measured it. So anyway, I just took, took that one ounce of feta cheese and crumbled that up in the mixture. Now for the dressing, and I just made this recipe up. You know, if you have a better version, do, do your version here. But um, I took one tablespoon of olive oil and two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Um, and then a little bit of salt and pepper and mix that up. If you have a fresh lemon, you squeeze a little lemon juice on there. I think that would be, I think that would be awesome too. Um, so after you have your little cucumber tomato salad prepared, then you want to take your pita, and I'm using the Joseph's uh, Flax Pita Bread. 
Um, it is only one point for this pita bread, and it has six grams of protein. So that's why I think this is pretty uh, filling, uh, because you have your chicken, and you have your veggies, and then you have, you know, this pita. And I take the pita bread, and then I'm also using, I found this at Walmart. I wasn't sure how it would taste. Um, I've also made my own, but for something that's just quick and easy, market side tzatziki um, dip. I'm going to show that to you here. Um, it is only one tablespoon for this dip. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking that one tablespoon, spreading it on my pita, um, and then I'm just going to add my veggies. So once my chicken is, um, well, actually I've been taking my chicken and just putting it in the refrigerator. So when I come home, then I have it, I just pull it out, put it on top of the veggies on the pita, and eat it like a wrap, and that's what you can do. Now, this pita actually is like a pita pocket, um, but it's just easier for me to kind of use it like a, um, I guess like a tortilla, maybe. Um, I'm just spreading that dip on there and adding the veggies and then the chicken, um, and that's it. I mean, it is so easy, and it's, I think with the tanginess of that tzatziki sauce, and then also your, your cucumbers and your tomatoes and the feta with that red wine vinegar, it, ha it, has, it just has a, a good flavor, a good um, Greek flavor to it. Um, and then usually I will just pair it with maybe some grapes or some apple slices. Um, but this is so easy, so filling. And like I said, you can make this cucumber tomato um, salad in advance. I usually just put it in a Tupperware dish and then my chicken and then just throw it on my pita bread and I'm out the door. And so it's very quick. It's an easy lunch. It's 5.5 points. So I have plenty of points left over for a snack later on in the afternoon if I were to get hungry or a little bit more for dinner. But super easy. So anyway, I just wanted to jump on here and uh, share that with you guys. And I hope that you'll try it and let me know what you think. Um, okay, guys, well, I'm going to head back to work. And um, if you haven't already subscribed, just hit the subscribe button. We would appreciate it. Me and Chelsea, we're not trying to be YouTube stars, um, but uh, it does let us know if our content is um, reaching anyone or, um, or you're finding it helpful. So anyway, we appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.